How to calculate the square root of a given number using geometry. In this 3D animation video we are going to learn this now. First of all, the given number, whose square root is to be determined, must be divided into two factors of its own. However, one thing should be kept in mind while factorizing the given number. The difference between these two factors must be kept as low as possible. For example, many pairs of factor exist for the number 40. They may be 0.5 and 80, 1 and 40, 2 and 20, 2.5 and 16, 4 and 10, 5 and 8, and so on. Any one among the these pairs can be chosen for this calculation. But the higher the differences between the factors, the higher amount of errors occurred in the values of the calculated square root. If you want to minimize the error, it would be wise to choose the pair of factors standing at the last in the list. Namely, 5 and 8. Because neither 8 is very larger than 5, nor 5 is very smaller than 8. The difference between these two numbers is 3. And a smaller difference produces a smaller error. In this 3D animation video, we will now calculate the square root of 30. For this we have to choose a pair of factors from the list shown here. Choosing the pair of 5 and 6 would have been better. But I would like to show you how much error could occur if the pair of 4 and 7.5 was taken. So watch the video till the end. Because after calculating the square root, I will show you how many percentage of errors I get. Ok then. I'm starting the process. At first, two line sections measuring 4 cm and 7.5 cm are drawn on the left side of the page. Then a large line section of any length is drawn in the middle of the page. The length of 7.5 cm is copied using a compass. The same amount is cut out from the line segment on the mid page. Let this part be named A, B. Then the length of 4 cm is copied. The same length is subtracted from the rest of the line segment. This very part is B, C. Now the midpoint of the line segment A, C is to be determined. For this we need to subdivide the portion A, C into two equal part. This is a well known method. So I am better not elaborating anymore. Thus we've got the midpoint of A, C, which is termed as point U. A semicircle of radius of U, A is drawn, taking point U as the center of it. Next we will draw perpendicular at point B. Take notes on the procedure and the steps in the drawing. The length of this perpendicular line inside the semicircle will be the square root of 30. This perpendicular intersects the semicircle at the point Z. So B, Z would be the square root of 30. Using a simple centimeter scale, the length of B, Z is measured. And it come out to be 5.4 centimeters. So the square root of 30 is 5.4. It is possible to reduce the amount of error by using the quality geometrical instruments and practicing it repeatedly. Now it is time to calculate the error. Using simple algebra, we get the value of square root of 30 as approximately 5.477. And here, using the geometric method we find it to be 5.4. So, the total error is 0.077. Percentage of error is around 1.41%. If you like the video, give us a like to encourage our works. Thanks for watching the video till the end.